Right now at 6, international travel from Europe is being halted in about 24 hours. College and professional sporting events are being postponed for weeks. And Disneyland in California just announced plans to close its doors, all to prevent the spread of COVID-19. New at 6, we found out the state is turning to private companies to try to get more test kits in the midst of a nationwide shortage. In the last 90 minutes, the NCAA canceled March Madness over coronavirus fears. Good evening, I'm Greg Warman. And I'm Martha Sagowski. Also late today, the health department announcing another Central Florida case of coronavirus. There are now 30 cases of coronavirus in Florida. The state health department says the most recent is a travel-related case in Seminole County. It's a 68-year-old man. There are two other travel-related cases in Volusia County. Officials there said today a New Yorker who reportedly tested positive while visiting Bike Week never actually arrived in Daytona Beach or even to Volusia County. Channel 9's Lauren Seabrook has been learning about the process going on in Seminole County right now with its first positive patient and Lauren he originally went to the hospital Martha he was sick enough to go there in the beginning that was a few days ago and that's when he was first tested the turnaround on testing is about 24 to 48 hours right now so they just learned he was positive for COVID-19 this afternoon the individual is self-isolating at home and doing relatively well right now. Health officials say the 68-year-old Seminole County man who tested positive for COVID-19 was on a Nile River cruise in Egypt last month. Ten other people who tested positive in Florida also took a Nile River cruise. So the county had already been monitoring him for symptoms. We're providing support service, wraparound services to make sure that he's okay, that he has all the supplies that he needs to self-isolate at home and, and be well. Seminole County just activated its coronavirus action plan, which means enhanced cleaning of public spaces in addition to those wraparound services for anyone who tests positive. With any positive case, we do contact tracing. So we look to see where he has been in the community. So that's taking place right now. Meanwhile, state leaders are working to get more testing kits because some of the kits they expected from the CDC didn't come through. The state just bought 2,500 commercial testing kits that will be here this weekend. The governor says 625,000 people can be tested through those kits, but they don't include collection materials, and that's a problem. There's a nationwide shortage of that right now. Now, many of the labs throughout the state do have some supply of these, uh, but our capacity to reach the total amount that our testing kits will allow is really dependent on how much of the materials are available. And Seminole County officials say they are still waiting on the results for a few other cases. They'll be opening a call center tomorrow for anyone with questions about COVID-19. Reporting live in the studio, Lauren Seabrook, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.